Now what I'm going to cook today is with the air fryer and it's called the paper wrap chicken. Now you will see in the video I am having the what they call chicken drumettes or the small chicken drumsticks. Well there are a variety. Some chicken drumsticks are very much bigger but I prefer to cook the smaller ones for this particular recipe. Some of you may prefer other parts of the chicken like the chicken breast. It's up to you. I mean it's your choice but the recipe is basically the same. Now first we will start with some of the ingredients for which we will marinate the chicken with. First one is one teaspoon of uh, sesame seed oil which you can actually buy from any of the grocery shops. Now next is white pepper which is ground. So you can use about half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of pepper depends on your taste for pepper and how strong you like the taste so for me i'm putting in about one teaspoon of pepper just a rough measurement but as you cook you will know what you want to do with the taste and this is what i call the light soya sauce and i'm putting in two teaspoons some people do add in the dark soya sauce so that the color of the chicken drumsticks or the chicken when it comes out is much darker but well it really depends on you I mean it's flexible now this one is what we call the Chinese five spice which you can get in the grocery store so I'm putting in about half a teaspoon of the five spice powder this is very nice it gives the chicken a very nice flavor once you have cooked the chicken then you have a little bit more yeah I prefer a little bit more of the spice because it tastes it tastes very much better I mean you can add garnishing like uh, ginger or garlic or onion it's really up to you and here is about uh, two teaspoons of water to lighten the mixture so that before we actually dip the chicken and uh, marinate the chicken in it for about two hours so you can actually add other things like chicken seasoning for me for example so I'm putting in about half a teaspoon for this uh, chicken seasoning to add your taste it's really up to you and your taste for how much uh, pepper or seasoning that you like so I'm putting in about one teaspoon and you just stir it up into the mixture so that it blends well into the mixture that you're gonna marinate the chicken with and this is what I call the oyster sauce it's a popular cooking uh, sauce with for Chinese families sometimes they put it with veggie or other ingredients here I'm putting in about one teaspoon of uh, oyster sauce to see whether the consistency is much thicker oh I think I need another teaspoon so maybe it's two teaspoons of oyster sauce so the sauce and the marinated sauce is a bit thicker that is you stir it and make sure that it's actually well mixed up so that the pepper doesn't stick to one side okay just stirring up to make sure that it's consistent and you don't really have pepper on one side and then the ingredients on the other side now I'm gonna put the chicken one by one into the marinating sauce I'm gonna turn it and toss it so that it can actually have a good coverage of the marinating sauce so this is repeated with the other pieces of chicken drummets so that's why I like chicken drummets because he actually can take in the flavor and enhance the flavor of the marinating sauce if you have two big pieces of chicken it sometimes the taste or the marinating sauce cannot penetrate 
and give you that type of flavor. So it depends on you, but I prefer to use smaller pieces so that the taste can actually penetrate the chicken. So I continue and I actually marinate the rest of the chicken part, the drummers, with the marinating sauce. You see that you don't need a lot of marinating sauce. Basically, you just need to put it in your chicken drummers inside and actually uh, toss it around so that you get rid of the ingredients and the marinating sauce on your chicken. Okay, we give it a good stir. Okay, I've done that. I've completed. So here, I think I have about six pieces of chicken. Next, this will be what you call the grease-proof paper, which you can buy sometimes from the grocery shops. So you fold into a square. Because what you need is to put the chicken in the square and then wrap it up before you put in the air fryer. So a good way of doing it is to do a square so the chicken can be placed in the center and you can just wrap the chicken round with the grease proof paper. I love this dish because it's very very nice and fragrant once it's cooked and it's also very juicy. So I come back with the chicken which is marinated. You can marinate the sauce for about 2 hours or 3 hours depending on you but I did it for about 2 hours and here is the chicken drummer. Now I'm just turning it a bit so that to get a little bit of the last bit of sauce into the chicken drummers. I think you can already see that the color of the chicken drummers is actually taking on the color of the marinating sauce. Now here I have about 6 pieces of paper for 6 pieces of chicken. Open it up so you can see a square and place the chicken into the center of the square grease proof paper and then you wrap it up and fold it up so that it seals like an envelope sealing up the chicken in the paper. It's actually quite easy to do but it's a very delicious a recipe to cook. There it goes. And as I go and uh, do more, I get better, <laughs> better looking cuts of chicken. This is the next piece. I do the same thing. Put a chicken in the middle, and then wrap it up so that. It is nicely tucked into the middle and you can actually tuck in the end of the square into the little envelope. See that it goes nice and secure so that you will not open up. There are two pieces of chicken done. Another four to go. So it's very simple. Open up the square of the grease proof paper Put in the chicken in the center and then wrap it up like a little envelope. By now, I think I've done quite a nice job of being folding the envelope so that it sits in nicely. Practice makes perfect, as you always say, and this is true because you find out there are easier ways sometimes of doing the same thing if you wrap, repeat it and think about how you can make it better or improve the design. And I continue wrapping up the chicken in the grease proof paper. Just tucking it to make sure that it's properly and securely sealed. 
the fifth I believe this will be the fifth piece of chicken that I'm folding and wrapping up. Okay, that's very nice. Nicely done. Okay, tuck it in, make sure it's sealed properly. And this should be the last piece of chicken, if I'm counting correctly. Yep, it is the last piece of chicken. Some people like to eat uh, where got spring onions, so they will actually put a bit of spring onions into the chicken, together with the chicken before they wrap it up, just for the taste of it. Or you can put onion or garlic, it really depends on what type of flavor you would like to have so there it is all done and all folded up all six pieces of chicken all wrapped up nicely now we will wait for the next stage remember to line your tray of your air fryer with a aluminium foil I mean this is basically just to prevent anything getting dirty and it's easier for cleaning so you can put in about six pieces of chicken, put it in nicely so that they don't overlap each other and that the air will be circulating so that it cooks the chicken properly. There it goes, the last piece of chicken just into the air fryer. So now I'm going to put the tray in with the six pieces of chicken which is wrapped up in a paper and I find that the air fryer is so convenient to use I think the image here is a little bit blurry but I will adjust it shortly so I'm switched on the power I've set the temperature on temperature is about 200 degrees and we'll cook it for about 12 minutes I mean the air fryer is wonderful in that you can actually check on how, what you cook and if you find that it's not as good as or as cooked as you want you can actually put it in and then continue and you can take it out anytime that you want to see the tray and see whether the food is properly cooked or not so it gives you a very easy way to adjust the temperature or the chicken or whatever pieces you may have in the tray so this is running now still at 12 minutes now it's 11 minutes running down this is the wonderful thing about the air fryer it's so convenient and it occupies so little space and it can do so many different dishes and you know reduce oil make your cooking more healthy because without oil if you normally cook this in a frying pan with a lot of deep fry oil you, know, you have a lot of oil there which of course makes the chicken more oily and it's also how do you dispose of the oil after you have used it do you then use it for cooking or do you dispose it down the drain or how do you dispose it so that's another problem to take care of when you have uh, deep fry whereas for air fryer you don't really need oil if you want you just spray a bit of oil just to make sure that you know, air fryer doesn't uh, stick to your dish that you're cooking but in this case I have lined it with aluminum foil and I also, also put in a bit of paper so it is uh, cooking now it's 7 minutes and I have adjusted the camera or rather my handphone so that now you can see the temperature and the time very clearly it's not really was a bit uh, it's running down to countdown 7 minutes 
can already smell the aroma of the chicken coming up. That's the beautiful thing about cooking sometimes is that well you can actually see or smell the taste or the smell of the fragrance of the chicken before you cook it totally unless you have something that is not incorrect. So it's two minutes more to go at 200 degrees. Down, to come down to 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, and count down further going to zero. And then we can see how well cooked our chicken is. Alright, we're done. Let's check out the tray. After the end of the beeping sound, and let's have a look at the chicken, how well it is cooked. The one that I cook with without the dark soya sauce, so you will have a lighter appearance than what you may sometimes see on other channels. Because if you add dark soya sauce and you like the dark color, then it, please go ahead. It won't actually make a difference to the taste, but the coloring will be different. So I'm opening up the first packet. You can smell the fried chicken. Wow, that really smells good. That's the wonderful thing about grease proof paper is that you can actually cook with it wrapping around the chicken which is just amazing. Ah there it is. Light coloured but it is cooked and the sauce have all gone into the chicken after the marination which is about 2 hours to 3 hours it depends on you and it's good to eat 